Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com. Today we're taking a quick look at the Nexus 7. This is the new 2013 model. Just came out. This is a follow-up to the Nexus 7 from Google, which came out last year. It's made by Asus. Both of these are nice devices, but this year we get a big increase. We have a much nicer display. We have a thinner overall device. Let's pull this out of the plastic here. So here we have a same 7-inch screen size, but what we get is a much higher resolution. So we have a 1920 by 1200 resolution display that's higher than the iPad mini and a lot of other 7-inch tablets that should deliver crisp looking photos and text while we wait for this to power on. We'll take a look around the device. We have a device that's a lot thinner than the Nexus 7 from last year. It's also lighter and a bit narrower, so it's easier to hold in one hand. You notice that immediately when you pick it up that the device feels nicer in that aspect. The back is changed. We have a matte black back with the Nexus branding. Gone are the dimples from the other Nexus, but it still feels nice. One thing that you'll notice right here is a 5 megapixel camera. That's new for the Nexus 7 in 2013. We still have a headphone jack up top, nothing along this left side. We have a micro USB port in the bottom, and one thing that's new, it supports slim port. Uh, so essentially what that means is you can plug in a small adapter and you can hook this up to HDMI. We have our volume buttons along the right side, and that's a quick look at the device. We'd also have our 1.2 mega, megapixel camera on the front. Now, as far as what this comes with, don't expect a whole lot in here, but we do get a few random papers and our charging cable and USB adapter. Um, the Nexus 7, the original Nexus 7 was a little picky when it came to what charger it would use, so that's important to have around. And so here we are already in, and here is the Nexus 7. Head over to GottaBeMobile.com, check out more about this device, and see our review.